Welcome to Mornings with Me. I haven't done this in a while. I do have more to say about data and model risk, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to have a bit of fun for me. And here I am at Conceptus Puzzles. I'm here every day. I usually start a puzzle right before I go to sleep and finish it when I wake up so that I know how long I slept. I really do do that. So I'm going to uh, do a Sudoku today. So I'm going to go down to Sudoku. Takes a little bit of time to resolve, so let me drink my tea. Okay. I've mentioned before Conceptus. I've been doing Conceptus puzzles for over 20 years now. And uh, they have free puzzles every week. You don't have to pay for credits like I have. I really like their puzzles, so I have paid. I'm going to do a, a diagonal Sudoku, which is like your regular Sudoku, except on the diagonals you have the digits one through nine each once. Okay, I'm going to buy and play now. I've never done this one before. Okay, here we go. go away. So I'm using the tool that it shades out everything it can't be. So I am forced to have a two here. Usually I go through it a couple passes, especially if it's a, considered an easier medium puzzle. before I really get down to business. Okay. This is the only one that because sometimes you're able to finish off a number. So for so here's where the diagonal comes in. I'm looking along this diagonal. There is only that square unshaded for five, so there must be a five there. Okay, and so we know those are going to be There, there, there. Ah, okay, here's an interesting one. So because of the way this is, six has to be here or here, which would eliminate it being in this middle square. So six has to be there. Okay, now I have to have a six here, six here, and six here. So on my first pass, I'm able to finish with all the sixes. Um, here we go, we've got a seven here because of the diagonal, seven because of the vertical, Seven because everything else in that square is filled up. So you can see having more restrictions actually makes the puzzle easier. And, and this is hardly surprising uh, because it restricts where the numbers can go. The more restrictions there are, uh, the easier it is to eliminate squares that can be in. So these can be nine, go up to nine, and I don't know. So this is where I stand just from the first pass. I'm going to do a couple of these. I'm going to, usually when I um, start putting in potentials, I will start where I think it's very filled in already. So down here, these three blocks on the bottom or these three blocks on the top. Um, Hmm, I think I'll do the ones on the top because here I've got the vertical, so that's going to be three numbers here. One of them is three. Okay, three. There's no four. Where's four? Four goes here. That's right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's a nine. Oh, and that actually makes life easy because the four and a nine here eliminates that's got to be a three. You know, so these things get a little bit easier. So I have a one and a two I've got to fill in. So this is one and two and a one and a two. Okay, so let me go down here. I'm looking for a three. Oh, actually, three has to go there. So again, I did my first pass. There may be um, some other easy ones. Oh, okay, so we're going to have one of these squares finished. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 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 Four. Four has to go here. Four has to go here. And here. 
So I don't really have um, a particular way of attack. I do like to do that once through sweep. That's got to be one. One, one, and that's gonna be two, 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 and of course, once you get a certain critical mass, it's pretty easy to fill in the rest of the grid. But you can see why I do this. I start it right before I go to sleep. These puzzles don't really take a long amount of time. Um, I actually wasted some time on this at the very beginning because I was closing all the windows. Um, so I, I just edited that part out. So this one, even with all my talking and stuff, it was just under five minutes. Um, you do keep a record of all of your stats. If I go to my solved, and this is what's nice. I can replay any of them, of course. So if I wanted to do that one over again, I'm not going to do it right now. But you can see I've done over 500 of these Sudoku. Um, they have a wide variety of, variety of them. They've got the diagonal. They've got the regular shapes. And I'll do demos of some of those. They've got multi ones. Those are fun. Um, but if I go here, I'll just pick one. Oops, it's just opening it again. If I click on Info, that's the one I want. At info, I can get its difficulty level. When was it published? When did I buy it? When did I solve it? How long did it take? So it says seven hours in four minutes and 57 seconds. Um, if I see anything that's like five to eight hours for Sudoku, it doesn't take me that long to do it. It's because I slept in the middle of it. Now you can tell. Um, the average time on this for people was an hour and 40 minutes. There's no way it took me an hour and 40 minutes. So Maybe I'll do that one again to show you the reasoning or another one like it. Um, but you can get the info. So if I go to buy and you see there's over 10,000, I can get the info on any of them if I find out how long it takes. So let's just say this mega Sudoku, it does take longer for those. A lot of times it takes me like 40 minutes. So the average time here was an hour and 14 minutes. That makes sense to me. Um, they don't necessarily tell you how many played it, though. That could give you good information on how much you should trust that solving time. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm stupid. It's right here, 42 solvers. Maybe I need to go back and look at the one that said um, that was just way too long for a Sudoku. But, yeah, for the easy ones, generally doesn't take a lot of time. I'm not sure how they grade these ahead of time back in the day when I was a puzzle tester for them. 20 some years ago, I would give them the amount of time it took me on puzzles. It wasn't these types of puzzles, it was other types. Um, but they do have algorithms that automatically grade how difficult the puzzles are. So enjoy. Bye bye.